It's 7.51 here at NEC, and it's not quite time for a full-out spring cleaning, but never too early to wake up a tired room. And that's why Leslie Gatiss is here sharing some affordable essentials that can help spruce up our home. I don't know about you guys, but I heard a few people say over the weekend with this second blast of snow, I've got cabin fever, yeah. I've had enough, I'm ready for spring. Sounds like the perfect time to spruce up your house, doesn't it? So, I teamed up with an interior design duo and they came up with some affordable essentials to change your look. Mark Haddad and Kurt Hackinson of Haddad Hackinson Interior Design say it's a good time for an update. The snow, the winter doldrums, the darkness of the winter really helps people to analyze what they have in their home, look at how they can improve it. I think people need something to bring them back to life. Everything is dark and cold and you're retreating. Time to think outward and, and creative. Changing out your pillows is an easy and affordable way to update a room. And you don't have to get stuck with the colors in the room. You can None of these colors and these pillows are actually in the walls, but they just give you that bold pop of color, something that contrasts against your wall color. Pillows are a great thing that change seasonally in stores, and at the end of every season, they go on amazing clearance sales. You can buy pillows for a song and get a collection going so that in no time you've got something for every season. Bring life to your walls by creating a collage of old picture frames. It's a very simple solution. If you take antique black walnut frames and then you intersperse those with new frames that coordinate with them and you kind of pick a theme, whether your pictures are all gonna be in color or all in black and white or all family pictures or all travel pictures, you now create a wall collage. Paint is the number one way to change the look and feel of a room without spending a lot of money. Mark and Kurt like this technique, which creates a faux damask print on the walls with a laser level painter's tape and a foam brush. We measure off the areas in which you wanna create a stripe. We use the laser level and run the painter's tape along those lines. Then we take a high gloss polyurethane with a foam brush and paint between the painter's tape. And when you pull the tape off, you have a sheen stripe. It's subtle, yet it looks like wallpaper and gives it a room a really elegant look. For do-it-yourselfers, installing a simple window height chair rail can provide a dramatic effect. The beauty of this application is by painting the bottom a different color, it gives the effect of wainscoting without even the labor of doing the actual wainscot panels. It makes it look like an expensive room and ele an elegant room. It just takes it up a notch. You need to finally throw out all of those half-dead house plants that you have around that you're trying to revive. I know I have a few. Mark and Kurt say put them in a compost pile, recycle them, and get a new one. Having live plants brings life into a room. It makes a dramatic impact and it brings the outdoors in. And especially in the winter like this where you don't have anything green outside, to see that piece of nature in your home just makes you feel good. Inexpensive ceramic pots add color and texture. Sometimes you don't even need to repot it. Just find a nice decorative bowl you have in the house, stick it in the bowl, and voila, there you go. All right, so there you have it. And a couple of final thoughts to all of that. That chair rail, if you are too intimidated to try that yourself, if you call a carpenter, it's not going to cost you a lot of money because it's a pretty simple process to just have that chair rail installed. You do the painting yourself to save cash. And then I said, where do you store all those pillows? Sounds like a great idea, but I don't have enough room right. for them. Duh, Kurt said, you only buy the covers of the pillows. You have Brilliant. one set of the stuffers. And so you're looking for those pillow covers that have the zippers that are interchangeable and not buying 800 idea. million pillows that you have nowhere to put. So I got educated and I threw out a dead house plant. You just uh, you motivated me to do the same thing. That was one of the questions I was thinking. <laughs> All right, what's